Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make faux vellum bags. And I say that because if you don't have vellum, then you can make these bags, hear that? Using parchment paper or wax paper, but wax creases up even more and leaves creasy lines. Um, so parchment paper comes in either white or a light brown color. Um, of course, I would prefer the light brown color, but unfortunately mine is white. So I got mine from Sam's Club. So I have this big old pack here that I need to use up. So all you have to do is tear off a piece which is never easy for me. So let me show you what we have here. They're all different sizes. It depends on the size that you cut. Um, and these are great for using your snippets on. Um, and that's all that uh, these two are. And these two here have some um, washi tape on them and a couple of stickers. But isn't that awesome? You have a very um, inexpensive way of making vellum bags if you don't have vellum and you still want that look. So let's move these out of the way. And let's get one made. So this one I made. And I love this size. This is a cute size I think. And it's going to fit plenty. And really depending on how you're going to use this in your journal. Or how you're going to use it period. Um, will determine which side that you um, decorate on. All of these I decorated on the front side. So they can be put into a pocket in a journal with um, some extra goodies put inside. But if you choose, you can glue it down like on three sides, just like our regular pockets um, are on three sides. And you can have a pocket behind and the bag as another pocket. And then you would want to decorate this side. And that might be what we do with that one. So take this and of course I didn't tear it straight, but just determine on the size of bag that you want and cut it down. And then it's yeah, if I did it this way, so you'd have a long skinny bag. So all it is is folding it in threes, just like if you saw my last video, it's just like the same thing with with that. Um, making pockets, any kind of pocket. So you would just fold it in threes like that. And then on the bottom, and I hope I'm in frame, on the bottom, you would fold that, and same with the top. And we're gonna cut this a little straighter. On the top, and you're, you're folding it about a quarter of an inch. And then you're gonna open that. And on the bottom, just cut along that line and cut right on the inside of that line. Let's do that again. Cut right on the inside of that line and then cut along that line. The one. So now you can see that takes away the bulk. If you left it there, it would be all bulky um, and you don't want bulk. You get enough bulk 
in your journals as is. On this one, you can cut it the same way, but most of them I left it on and that's for sturdiness. That's so it's nice and sturdy. Um, so let's see, I think I <laughs> glued it on first. And I'm using art glitter glue and it dries instantly. It dries clear, you don't see it at all. So I glued that first. And then I did the same cut. Oh, I cut that one wrong. That will happen. But what's the rule in junk journaling? There are no rules and there are no mistakes. So that's a little messed up, but it's okay. So glue that down. Glue that down. Get along that seam. And there you go. Trim that up. There we go. And I like this size bag. That's an awesome size bag. And we have a little bit left here. Let's make another one. I'm just trimming this. We got somewhat of an even cut. And let's just cut that in half. So you can do a tri trial run. You can see that that'll be a small one that way. And it looks like it's pretty much square bag. So either way we turn it, it's gonna be pretty much the same size. So just fold that in threes. Trim up the top and bottom so that they are straight. I can't cut straight for the life of me. Seems like there's a lot of junk journalers that can't cut straight. Wonder why that is. So again, on the bottom, go along that line and slightly turn on the inside of the bottom line. So you're going just to the inside of that bottom line and cutting along the side line. And glue that down. And then the top, let's see if I can do it right this time. 
I'm always having trouble with the top. You want to go to you're cutting a small piece out. I know I'm not being very clear. Cut down cut down the sides first and then cut a little to the right. To make your flap. Fold down. See, it just still didn't come out right. I didn't have a problems with the other ones. I don't know why I'm having a problem now. I am going to cut that off because I messed it up. We are not going to have a flap on this one. This is going to be open. <laughs> Which is A-OK -okay with me. So I don't know why I was having a problem, but you can see just cut when it's open. Let me do that again. I have to get it right. I have to be able to show you the right way. So I apologize. So for the top flap, just make a small quarter inch mark right down the seam. Fold down the flap that you're going to glue. The flap that's still remaining is going to be your flap that you can fold close or leave open and you just want to take out just a little bit. There you go. There's your flap. Okay, now I'm going to do the bottom and I'm doing it just a little bit different than how I showed you because I glued to do that top. But it is all being done the same. You know, it's, it comes out the same way. There's two different ways of doing it. And the first two bags I showed you was the easiest. So there we go. Oh, sorry for the reach. All right. So, as you can see, I have all sorts of stuff here. And I have my vintage photo. And that is because these are not brown. I'm going to go ahead... And gussy them up, and that needs to be glued. So, even if you have white ones, you can do this, you can. Grab your coffee and flick some on it, put it in a spray bottle, spray it on it, and then use a heat gun or a blow dryer 
to dry it. I'm just doing what I think is the quickest way. I like that big bag. That big bag is going to be nice for putting small stuff in for Happy Mail and swaps. I think that one needs a little more. There. So let's see, we might want to, I want the big bag to be decorated on the outside of it because like I said, that'll be good for putting stuff in. So we have all sorts of stuff here that'll work. I like that one. How about that one? And it's pretty much done, I, I think. I'm trying to think if I have, that wouldn't work. Anything on my desk, which I don't. Not on this desk. I don't have any. I'm sorry, I'm looking for something. I don't have any cheesecloth, which is what I feel it needs. Let's grab some stuff. <laughs> I thought I was prepared. I don't know if it needs this or not. I, it needs cheesecloth, I think. But unfortunately, yeah, that's too much. I think we might have to just go with what we have. about something like that. Yeah, let's do that. For that, I'm going to get out the three and one. And I changed the camera, so I hope you guys, I don't need three and one on this part, but I grabbed it, so that's what I have. Just on the trim is all you really need it um i changed the camera so i hope i'm thinking it is better with it where it is right now so that's all that needs it really needs to be coffee dyed But, since it's not, yeah, I wish, it's a shame I don't have brown parchment paper, but vellum isn't brown either, so we're good there. So let's check these ones out and see what we have. 
like this one could be a little pocket. Uh, let's do this side. See, I think that's good. So once you have your snippet, bring out your snippets or your snippet roll and cut off pieces of your snippet roll. These are quick and easy to make. And it's a can be a mass make project. I I like all of them as something that would go in a pocket. That's why I'm having a hard time decorating the back side, but they are cute. And actually, that one needs a word. And I have these. Let's do one of these. The butterfly. I'm partial to the vintage look. So I keep going for that. But oh, I got a big goober. Don't you just love how Faber Tac does that? Even when it's standing up and it's not full, it does that. So let me see if I have some words close by. I do. I have fabric talk all over my fingers now. Here we go. These are what I was looking for. My desk is a mess. don't like any of the words. I have fabric tack all over my fingers. It's driving me nuts. Flourish. Let's see what we have for the other one. Nothing. Oh, that's too big. Hmm. I need words. What if we did? No. Nope. Needs to be a word. I have words, but I don't like them. Oh, there's I see one. Let's do this. Kindness. So today has flown by. 
been a very quick day. So there we go. What do you think of this little project? Let me know down below. I think these are fabulous. Um, and I have quite a few there ready to go for a project, um, which is what it's all about. You know, it's much easier than working on a project and having to stop and make a bunch of ephemera. It's so nice to have some ephemera ready to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I enjoyed showing it to you. I hope you learned something. And um, I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.